Well, seven years ago, a long time, Texas adopted the 60 by 30 plan. The goal, 60% of high school graduates in Texas would earn a certificate or a degree by 2020. But the state's own data shows, according to their original metrics, that we're actually dropping. We're not meeting that goal. We're moving further away from it, which is pretty startling because 90% of jobs in the state of Texas that are skilled do require some sort of post-secondary degree. So where are we right now? Well, according to the state's data, by those original metrics, about 26% of kids are succeeding. That's right now. Now, previously, that was at 33%. So you see that steady decline. And according to Dan Hooper, who is the founder of the nonprofit Scholarshot, there are two two systemic issues that are contributing to that decline. And he says it's leading thousands of kids on a path to poverty. These are just great kids. So Dan Hooper kids, beams like a proud parent. Uh, Cairo is at SMU Law School on a full ride. He's a real He started Scholarshot in 2009 to help at-risk students earn a college degree. His program has turned 182 potential dropouts into degree earners. And you'll hear a lot of people say, oh, well, college is not for everyone. That's not true. All our local community colleges provide one-year vocational certificates, and with your grants, it's paid for. Hooper says, two systemic issues in education hold kids back. Bad or a lack of advisement by high schools and lack of accountability in our university systems. Their ultimate goal should be college or career readiness, but they're focused on anything but that. It's hard because a lot of kids get talked out of doing Scholarshot by their school counselors, again, to make the system look good. Data show students are largely overmatched, enticed into schools where they cannot compete academically or flat out can't afford. We could cut that down by half if we just communicated with a little more reality about the world and life to these kids, because they're not stupid. None of these kids are stupid. Hooper says students need a better model of engagement. Our universities think that, well, I've got a staff of advisors, but if those advisors just wait for kids to advocate for themselves, it's not going to happen. Roughly half of kids who drop out of Texas colleges are actually in good standing. Every CEO in North Texas has told us their number one issue is to find degrees in diversity, and they can't. We just need to give these kids a certificate or more after high school to get them ready for work. Now in 2021, Texas updated its 60 by 30 plan. You heard me mention the original metrics earlier. These are the new metrics, increasing the target population to 64 years old, recognizing non-traditional educational credits and including the in-migration of new residents. These modifications have improved the state's outcomes. So let's talk about you, what you can do right now. Know your gap. So Scholarshot actually released this gap app. It is a free tool that anyone can download or you can go to knowmygaps.com and you can enter your high school information in 30 to 40 seconds. You will learn your financial and your academic gaps to any two or four year public school in Texas. And again, it's a free app that you can download in your app store. And when Dan's talking about getting some sort of education, he means a one, a two or a four year degree. So again, Mark, it's changing the language when it comes when we talk about college. Boy, it's super helpful information that a lot of folks in Texas need to hear. Thanks for that, Kara.